Welcome back to the channel and welcome to our Power River Outlet and Appliance Surge Protector. Review Power River? Hmm, sounds like some kind of uh, musical group. No, no, just another organization that made up what they thought was a uh, pretty cool sounding company name. Power River. Power River. Almost could be a radio station also. I'm so glad that companies do that. It uh, gives us something to talk about. We've pretty much uh, come to expect that, uh, Heath. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of my thing to make fun of uh, product names. But uh, so what exactly is an outlet appliance surge protector? I almost think you're making these things up at this point. Well, you know, you're not really that far off here. So I bought this as uh, an appliance surge protector or specifically for my refrigerator. I, I think the intended use of this is, is probably like a super high, you know, traffic area where you want to increase your, you know, charger density and outlet density, uh, both. And so, uh, you know, the device is nice and, and low profile. It, it covers the outlet and, and it uh, replaces, you know, your two outlets with five. But, you know, another cool feature is it also has a total of four USB connectors on it, uh, three type A's and a type C. So it's, it's kind of, you know, designed to go in like your, you know, central hub area where you need, you know, all that extra power. I'm really just using it for the surge protector and the fact that it's got angled connector, uh, you know, plugs on it uh, to stick stick behind the fridge. And, and where our fridge is and where it plugs in is not really accessible for anything else unless I, you know, ran some cables uh, back there over to the countertop. Yeah, that, that makes sense. You were really just kind of looking for a surge protector, but all these extra outlets and USB connections, um, maybe other people would, would want it for those purposes. And, and maybe you yourself will use that someday you never know yeah precisely so you know a big thing is um you know a lot of, of surge protectors you know whether they you know connect to the wall or to the outlet uh and, and cover the outlet right where they have an extension cord their idea behind having the usb type a's and type c's is, is to replace those little power bricks uh that are getting so annoying right and and almost no device comes with the brick anymore they always come with the cables uh, but no bricks. So this this kind of helps on that front and uh, The way these outlets are laid out it is uh, You know if you do have a brick that you're gonna plug in there or even a transformer uh, I think it's gonna work for probably, you know, most of those applications as well I think the only thing that you might run into is a transformer on those angled ones might actually You know kind of have trouble with the wall itself. So anyway um, I'm kind of using it outside of its, you know, 100% intended purpose, but for me, that's what I was primarily looking for is some surge protection capability for our refrigerator. Okay, so let's take a look at this device. I think you have some video uh, by your fridge uh, without audio, is that correct? Yes, but that was totally on purpose. Totally. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm buying what you're laying down there, but that's okay. Um, you know, as we're looking at this video, I can tell you I have exactly the same <laughs> the same product. I've had mine for a couple of years, and it's a different brand name. It's not as cool as Power River, but mine's called Chi Lianf, which is the weirdest name. It's like Q-I-L-I-A-N-F, which I'm pronouncing as Chi Lianf. I don't know, whatever. Uh, but I can see what you're doing. You're removing the center screw from the original plate, but leaving the plate there and then using that screw <clears throat> to anchor down the, uh, the existing power, your power strip, your power river on top of the existing plate, which is, uh, yep, yeah, that's exactly what I did as well. That makes sense. And I like that because I have seen a lot of uh, equivalent type of, of uh, surge protectors where you go to pull one plug out and then the whole thing comes out, right? So that screw, that's a cool feature. I like that. Exactly. Now, I'm not gonna have, as we've discussed, full use of this device, all the things that it's capable of doing. The USB ports are gonna be somewhat wasted and everything, but for the $15 that this unit ran, I figured, you know, no big deal. And if I like the unit, and so far, um, I definitely do, I have the option of uh, putting one of these at our desk 
uh, which is kind of charging central. As a matter of fact, um, it's got one of those, you know, just plug it in and then when you go to unplug things, hope you don't pull it out of the wall as we as we discussed. So uh, really, you know, this is, this is kind of its uh, audition for, you know, some additional places in the house. Yeah, okay, good. So any dislikes? For this unit not really i mean it's it's really a pretty simple device i mean it, it's doing exactly what it said it would do it is providing additional outlets it's providing the uh, usb charging capability it has a uh, indicator light that there's power and i really like that uh, that center screw uh that holds the uh the whole unit to the wall so that any unplugging uh, isn't going to, uh, you know, bring the whole device out of the uh, outlet and lose power to everything connected to it. Now, my motivation here was uh, we had a power outage, and I think it might have been one of those outages where it was like kind of flickered first and then went out. Well, after that uh, power event was over, when the power came back, our refrigerator was dead. And uh, luckily, under warranty, we got a new main board. But I was like, you know what? I don't know if these are related or not but I'm not gonna take a, a chance in the future. Let's get uh, you know some surge protection capability at the refrigerator because it's such a, an important appliance. Yeah, so it sounds like for a mere 15 bucks, protection versus a brownout, that makes sense, or a power outage. Um, it's, good, it's a good deal, right? Yep, and just like that, I think we can call this good for this episode. Yeah, could this be like a new record for us or something? You sure you don't wanna stretch this out or stall a little bit? Well, Nah, let's let's just go ahead and call it good here. Well, I guess all that's left to do is to remind everybody to click the like button, right? It's uh, it's right there, or maybe here, or over here. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, go ahead. I'm waiting. I'll wait. It's right there. Go ahead. Ke Keith, just Keith, click it already. Keith, it's it's okay. Uh, I, I'm sure with all the time that you gave them, they 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 hit that uh, they hit that like button. As a matter of fact. While they had all that time on their hands, they probably clicked the subscribe too while they were at it. Although they may have then unsubscribed after you harassed them a little bit, but but it'll be okay. Yeah, I don't know what came over me. Um, but go ahead and uh, if you're still subscribed and you're still interested, go ahead and uh, click the bell also. That is what's gonna let you know when we release new content, it'll uh, show up on your feed. Well, I think that about covers it. For Keith, Bruce, and Nessa, she's been in and out. Maybe you didn't see her, maybe you did. But uh, for Keith, Bruce, and Nessa, you'll see us on the next episode of Dad's Talk Tech. <laughs>